Yo. So recently, a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater fan, Base DMC, created a mod for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 on PC called THPS Pro. It includes all the levels from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. And it has some additional features like set custom restart and go to custom restart. And also a free roam cam. And there's some other useful bits in here too. But anyway, let's get to it. Most of the levels are constructed using data from the PS2 era, except that they were re-released that other time on 360 or PC, because they were higher poly and higher res then. Regardless, it's still really great to see and really fun to play. It's about two gigabytes, and all you have to do is drag the contents into Epic Games, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Base, Content, Packs, and then you create a new folder called Mods with a little tilde at the beginning. Once you get it installed, you can hit F1 for level options, which lets you turn on and off certain objects and set the time of day. F2 sets custom restart. F3 goes to custom restart. F4 is the free roam cam. F5 brings up an overlay for the balance meters. And F8 is the level menu. I took a shot at doing one stream where we played all the levels to see how they play on the new engine and then ranked them on a tier list. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to go ahead and just start in a random level. Oh, dude, we are here. We are gaming now. Let's start the first level, shall we? Foundry. Ooh, you get like a dramatic fly through for the video. <laughs> but I can't control the fly cams. I'm like all over the place. Here we go. So majestic. Cool. Yeah, I think Foundry never hit too hard for me, but I like it seems like we can wall ride all these fences and stuff. Do any of these, none of these break your wall ride, which is amazing. This is so awesome. Whoa. Look at this. This is stony. Ooh, the gaps are in there. Huge. Yeah, it's funny. This secret room has always been kind of useless, but it's just like, it's fun to have. It's fun to be in and then leave. Yeah, anyway, it's all right. What would you guys rate this on a tier list S to F? I feel like in this version, it's like better than the Tony Hawk 3 version because you can wall ride everything and everything's functioning. They got gaps working. There's like particle effects on these little bits. It's like better looking. I think this is not a deer. It's at least a C. It's kind of a B. I think in Tony 3, this would be very much a C or D tier, but I feel like it, it hits better. It looks better. The wall ride flags are there and all the gaps are functional. It, if anything, it's better than the Tony 3 version. So I think I'm going to give it a B. It might end up being a low B, but it's a B. Yeah. Level options. F1. Noon. Hey, I like this much better. So it looks like these textures were taken from the THPS HD revert pack dlc that robomoto made for that one game these look like a little bit higher res than the others i could be wrong but yeah i mean this is i've said this before i think we did it in the thug pro walkthrough like basically everything that's snowy on the left is useless it's all right to kind of free skate but if you're trying to like combo things together this is all just a, a crap shoot like and so i consider this part of the map just kind of obnoxious and I just want to avoid it. So this is like the real map. And to me, that takes away from a lot of it. Yeah, No Man's Land is a good way to put that. Yeah, the PS1 version of this level is super rad. Whoever ported it to Thug Pro did a good job because they included those PS1 bits. Ooh, does the little totem head pull uh, come off the pole? Hey, it does. I kind of would rather play Foundry over this. It's close though. Sorry, I just forgot. I might be offending some people in chat who actually live in Canada, but Canada, it's weird because I, I so, sometimes I feel like I could play it over Foundry, but I think Foundry is being surrounded by walls and there's like high lines and stuff. There's more to do. It's strange because this is smaller, but yet there's more to do in it. Like, you know what I mean? I think I'm going to go with C for Canada. But yeah, look at this. Looks pretty. Yeah, it's strange. This was the most played map in Tony 3, and this is because this level started robot lines where you just, you can see it. You just go in a circle forever. And so everybody online played this map and I get it. Outside of that robot line, I feel like it does have a lot going for it. The only thing that sucks is like this whole street is just dead space. I mean, I'm glad it's not kill, you know? It would be cool if they broke it up with medians. Like they have this little thing, but it doesn't really help much. And remember, we used to use this wall for tons of scoring, getting base along the edge. The secret area is pretty useless too, but it's like, you know. But anyway, it's not my favorite. I think this is a good map. Yeah, so this is the robot line. This is the dance we did and still do on Thug Pro, I suppose. But there's probably a more optimized version of this out there. 
And round and round we go. They just keep going round and round and round. You know what really bugged me is that you can't grind the... This is such a stupid nitpick, but you can only grind the inside of this. You can't grind the outside. And whenever you're like deep in a combo and you're like, oh, I'm just going to grind this real quick. And then it just doesn't. And then you bail. It makes me sad. At any point, you could pretty much exit, grab this or any of the planners or any of the grinds. And you could session this whole little section and then hop right back on to the outer robot line. And I think it's super sick. Yeah, this wall used to go hard. It still does, but it used to, too. Whoops. Um, see, I just tried to grind the outside of that and it made me fail. Oh, wow, you can do the curbs? <gasps> you can grind the curbs? This is huge. This is an exciting new development in this. This is, okay, this is where we're at in the Tony Ox Pro Skater franchise. When someone mods the game and you can grind the curbs. <laughs> this is like, oh my God, like, skate, eat your heart out. We got Rio from 20 years ago. We can grind the curbs now. It's nice. Oh, okay, we're standing here. All right, what are we rating this, y'all? When you stack up Rio to most levels, this is gonna be, for the noobs, this is like immediate S tier. And when it's just amongst the Tony three levels, it's probably an S tier in my book too. But when you stack it up against the rest of them, I think it's A or above. It's pretty solid. The only thing that keeps it from going S, I think, is the streets and the walls around it. Like they're just virtually unplayable. Like once you leave the park, there's just nothing. But it's better than having a kill. And it does have a very long wall rideable wall. There is a grindable curb. It's true. That's a good point. Oh, look, a gnome. That's a little frightening. Did that gnome just bump it up to S tier? Okay. All right, Suburbia. Are you going to wow us today? Looks very pretty. <laughs> Ooh, we can grind the curves. Run right on curves. <laughs> that actually is huge. Because this whole middle area, like, I get it, cul-de-sac, ice cream truck, but it's, like, super empty. Empty area is okay, but just, like, this is too much. There's nothing to do out here. And there's no flow going around it. I mean, there kind of is, like... This table's always been kind of, whoa, kind of weird to me, but. Did that just happen twice? What's happening? Is something wrong with this grind? There is. Maybe this collision from the kicker is getting in the way. Anyway, I mean, some of this is skill issue, I'll admit. I haven't played this level before in this engine, so. Wait, can I not? I can't water the fence. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> this level, dude. Uh, let's get the axe. Let's see if we can get to the haunted house. We got the axe. Did you see it? You missed it. It was in the thing right here. Let me go over here and give it to the tall, skinny man. Dude, next generation. Did y'all see that? That was huge. Doing the moves. We're scamp boarding right now. Okay, let's try and get like a decent combo. Can we grind the top of this? No, we can't. I think maybe the top lip isn't flagged as vert or something. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, can't wall ride the dude. How can I get like what the the tree is collidable? I am getting stopped at every turn. Okay, we did it. We can leave now. What are we rating this? We talked about it before. F tiers should be reserved for like super throwaway levels, like practice, chop or drop. It's not an S, it's not an A, it's not a B. It's definitely not a C. It's definitely between these two. And I feel like it's kind of above. There's some issues with this port. All the, you know, obviously like the collidable tree, can't wall ride the fence or some broken grinds. It's a little iffy on some of the vert transfers. 
I think it's like I want to just slam it and just give it an F, but it's not a throwaway map. Plus the curves are grindable and it comes with a free Frogurt. So we're gonna put it in D. That's good. <laughs> but the Frogurt is also cursed. That's bad. Y'all already know what I'm gonna rate this. I have played this map so much. You can skate all this. It's like the equivalent of like a foundry down here. Plus all this other extra stuff. Work on your shuffles, the side jumps. This is a port of the THPS HD Revert Pack DLC. So the textures are higher res and they took some weird liberties. Like the lights aren't shuffleable. There's only one grind spline on top and not two. So you can't bounce between them. Just for the people in the back who don't know, shuffling is when you hop between two rails very quickly. Oh my God, this one is broken. My pro tip. Like that, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get up all the way without bailing. Actually, it's pretty easy in this version. Can this run me over? Oh my god, it can. <laughs> yeah, but these guys you can't shuffle, it makes me sad. But, other than that, I think it's a pretty solid port. And wait, let's go see if there's a teleporter at the bottom. Like one of these, maybe? Here? <gasps> Ooh, huge. That's, that's pretty great. And then th does this one take you to the bottom? Can we get over the wall? Oh man, I kind of want to get over, like, screw the tier list, we're going to try and get over this wall. Yeah, this floor is kind of a little shiny. Th I hope the janitor got a raise because this is, not only do I hope he's on a livable wage, I hope he's on a, th a thriving wage. Because this is, the spit shine is immaculate. Ooh, there's some foliage on top of the baggage claim. Whoa, this is vert? What the heck? Okay. Whoa. Whoa, look at out here. Look at these fences. So I remember in the 23 version, there was just literally nothing keeping you from just doing that and getting on top of that platform. In King of the Hill, that was the spot to go. Play keep away and just chill up there. And then here, you can go all the way and end up... You would go through that window and just end up through here. And if you didn't know how to do it, you'd have to grind this thing all the way around. Let's try and crank out 10 million. Oh yeah, and these pillars are rounded out like cylinders. We were are these? Oh, heck yeah. What about this one? Can we go around? They just go around and around and around. Why do you think people love this level but hate say them all? Similar ideas with the downhill concept. I think with the airport, it has way more sessionable areas. There's like three levels, right? Four. And they each, you could, they're each self-contained. You could turn around and keep going at each. Some of them aren't as easy, but I think that's it. Like the bottom level of airport, aside from like the basement, is like a level in itself. And then the baggage claim, the noobs love that one because it's like a back and forth thing. And it's very linear and it's very easy to read and very broad stroke. The side jumps are just spelled out for you and you can get creative with it too. There's high lines, big wall rides, big wallies. I think it just has everything. And I think this is an immediate S tier for me. This is exactly what I want to see in a map. It's almost perfect. I have my reservations about the Tony three version and this version, but it's still like just miles beyond, you know, okay, next. So yeah, Skater Island, it's based on a real life location. There's some liberties took to like make it flow better, but in my opinion, not really enough. This rail, I remember talking about this last time, like this rail being shuffleable is kind of the best part of the whole map. And it saved it when going for scores and like improvising. It's kind of a good fallback because it's a very long, easy, straight, broad stroke that's like easy to catch. Oh yeah, and then it had this, uh, the secret section. I wonder if it works in this version. I think it does. Go here, grind the pirate flag, and then, <laughs> wait, did I grind the wrong one? I think I have to do the level options. Wall destroyed. Yeah, unfortunately, it's kind of like all other secret areas where it's just like you can't really incorporate it into any sort of meaningful like improv or high score even. It's just kind of here to like, hey, pirate ship. Woo! Oh my God, should we turn on the sea shanty?
Yeah, this whole section is just kind of a waste. I mean, it's cool, a little novelty. Yeah, the rest of it is just, it doesn't hit either. It doesn't flow that great. It's based on a real life spot. So if you just want to like soul skate and just do like a trick or two and just kind of cruise, like if that's your thing, go for it. But if you're just trying to flow around like a Tony Hawk game, you really got to work for it. It's tough, you know, whoa, okay. God, wait, is that water out there? Did we, oh my God. This is why they call it Skater Island. I didn't know. Do I rate the pirate ship or the cruise ship higher? Probably the cruise ship, unfortunately. <laughs> I think it's better than Suburbia. Better than, or not as good as Canada. I think it's a high D tier. I think it's here. Los Angeles. Oh, this was also taken from the Revert Pack DLC. I can tell because of the pixels. This is rad. I'm glad this is here. This makes me happy. Hype. Can we get some lowercase hypes in the chat? All right, should we go for it? First try? I don't even know if it's even possible. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> First try, here we go. Hey, we did it. That counts. Oh, God, I just love this level so much. It's the perfect level. It's the perfect mix of, like, spoon feeding a little bit, and then you have to make a decision. Like, right here. Like, uphill's bad, so they, like, you, okay, you can go uphill or go left. And that's, like, a perfect example. There's plenty of time to see it coming. Plenty of time to land, manual, get back into it. And, like, all, there's just so many options at every part of the outer loop. And there's minimal amount of bonks and, like, frustrating areas. And it just seems to work all the time. Oh, look, these curves are grindable in this version. Huge. Oh, God, it's so good. Can we go through this? Oh, we can. Whoa! Let's try it again. We've already got our 10 million, but let's just... We gotta get a solid production drop through here. Ah! I don't know why that didn't work. LA is, for me my favorite level of all time. It is the top, the best Tony Hawk's Pro Skater level, in my opinion. And the only way it gets better is if you play the Thug 2 version, where we added the production drop and have way more wall ride flags and a bunch of more rails and rail kinks and stuff to like climbing trees, not as spinning the tops of them and fixing bugs from the older versions. I mean, there's still some like, some hairy bits in there that are like kind of questionable, like bouncy walls and grinds that don't link up and whatever, but to me, it doesn't get better than this. This is like a perfect depiction of a city that you could skate in a Tony Hawk game. Sure, it could be bigger, you know, but like given the constraints of the time and memory and texture, geo budgets and stuff like this, it doesn't get better than this. So that's my take and I'm sticking to it. Get me down from here, please help somebody. Overpass destroyed. We should, we should look at this real quick. Oh yeah, earthquake, look at that. Yeah, look at that. We can get the afterstate of the earth, the earthquake. Cool. Yeah, and the grates open over here. It's like when you do these gaps, it says they're great, and it opens the grates. And it also opens this grate here. And hopefully this helps someone who's watching this video 20 years later, how they get the stat point in here. Tokyo. How we looking? A little dreamy, a little spicy. Ooh, the train's moving. I don't know, this level is, it, it would never was that great, but it was never that bad either. There's a lot of interesting, like, stuff on these, like, the two big walls. There's, like, multiple layers of balconies and neon grinds and connecting bits and kickers to hit. And if you, like, memorize everything, you can get super creative. Yeah, that was a good level. Ooh, look at that lighting. We need to find out if we can um, get in the secret area. And then hit the rope. Oh my God, it worked. That's cool. I would assume it would have been on a toggle like in Skater Island. But yeah, here we go. We in Tron now. But yeah, like other secret areas, unfortunately this sort of is uh, it's very segregated. You can't really combo into it. You could start in it and really work hard to combo out of it. But I don't know. A lot of what I judge levels on is based on whether or not you can include it in a combo because that's what you're doing in the game. So if you can't reach it in a combo, it's kind of a drag. The quarter pipes are too high. 
Like if you're manually in a combo and you want to get a vert air, like you can barely make it to the top. So it's just kind of useless. So you're restricted to grinds only. And even then you're rolling up, you're stuck in long manuals going up to the top. Better than Suburbia, better than Skater Island. Ooh, is it better than Canada or Foundry? It's not better than Rio. I feel like it's like BC territory. I think it's like a, it kind of feels weird to rate Foundry higher than Tokyo. They're very similar. They're almost like the same size and layout flow. It's like a long oval. Is this average? It's like straight up the middle. It's like low B, high C. I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, cruise ship. Uh, secret area tier list. Actually not a bad idea. <laughs> All right, let's look at this map. There's disco lights over there. 50% of your screen is occupied by kill plane. Remember that. Yeah, I don't know. We've talked about this before. I don't like cruise ship. It's like average at best to me. The biggest flaw it has is like, just look at sort of like the shape of it, right? I might have to bring out the snip tool to, I'm gonna have to, cause some, some of you guys are passionate lovers of cruise ship. So here's the deal. One end of the ship and the other end of the ship, literally everything, all the shapes of everything lead you this way or that way. So you're going to end up at the front of the ship and every single time I end up here, I'm like, what do I do? I grind this. Okay, cool. So if I grind it again, my balance is screwed and I bail. That's it. And so if I jump over here, I risk like dying in the water or jump sooner. I can't because I die in the water. And so I'm stuck wasting my grind balance around this whole thing. And it's totally toast by the time I reach here and it spits you out. And it's just, I, I can't get over the fact that literally everything leads you into this situation where you're just burning your combo. And if you want to do something else, you go up this quarter pipe that's like right here. And where does it lead you? Right back to this grind. You're stuck on it again. And then let's not forget that the entirety of this entire not floor deck, whatever they call this deck that goes around the entire boat, this is the comboable area. You can start from up here or up here or do stuff like at the top deck or whatever, but making it back up here in a combo is just like out of the question, especially on Tony three, because the grinding was way more strict. So that's my take. Literally everything leads you to the edge of the boat where there's only one grind going around and you're stuck on it and it burns your combo. And the entire map is surrounded by kill. They could have had it docked with like shipping containers and this could be a long wall or there could be a service boat or a submarine or something to sort of like break this up. Like they kind of have like these lifeboats here, but trying to like leave a quarter pipe to go on these, like you overshoot it and you don't know if there's going to be one right here or if it's going to be like, you have to memorize these spots and where they all connect. And it's just, not, it doesn't work. It really doesn't. You can't even really side jump from here to hit this rail. It's just too risky. It's like, it's just not a good level. Like it was almost there. Like it feels like if they, like a quick fix, what I would have done is incorporate a handrail, one single handrail that goes like this. Right. So now you sort of have a, a baseline of like going back and forth and a fail safe that goes around the end. It's like, this is sort of already acting as our fail safe. I get it. But when it's your only option on the two most skated parts of the level, it's no bueno. So I would add another one. And of course, like, not just handhold, you can have breaks in it. So you'd have to like jump over this, do that, whatever. Make these all one boat and make it longer, maybe, you know? And then the idea of having a like shipping crate container situation or a maintenance boat, whatever, just to keep it from like, keep the user in from dying, not dying. Anyway. Have I sold you guys? Do you guys still think it's S tier? Because there's an alarming amount of you that think this level is S tier and it's just not. This ain't it. Oh, the spy. <laughs> Didn't see that coming actually. So what are we rating this y'all? I don't think it's S tier. I don't think it's A. It's not B. That's for sure. I think it's B tier at best. 
And this is where it starts to get difficult because it's it's better than Skater Island and Suburbia. I'll give it that. Canada is a because this is surrounded by Kill Two, so it's like which one do I want to deal with? I think Canada might be better. I don't really want to play any of these. I feel like I would rather play Canada than cruise ship. Yeah, I think I'm leaving it here. It's a low C. All right, we just did all of turning three. Now we're gonna start on four. Oh, just, oh, fine. So we did that Thug Pro tier list and Oil Rig was in it, and I gave it an F tier, which might've been a bit aggressive. It's kind of a throwaway map, but like it's not as bad as practice or like chopper drop. Oh, this is the old version too. This is just like, I don't know. This kind of goes back to cruise ship. This the entire thing is surrounded by water, which is just not fun for everyone or anyone. So it's it's really hard to deal with and it's multi-layer. So anytime you leave any of these rails, you're just like, I hope I'm not landing in the water and you just always do. Instead of just giving it an F tier off the bat, let's skate around for a little bit. This is just, I think this is worse than cruise ship. Oh, I was just thinking like, oh, it'd be cool if we could like lip check this helicopter, but you can't even like, it's not even, can you get there? No. This level makes me tired. Resident sleepers in chat. Uh, what would you guys rate this? It's not S, A, B, C. It's between D or F. Would I rather play Suburbia or Oil Rig? And that's a tough call. This version is worse than the American Wasteland version because the American Wasteland version and the one that's in Thug Pro had that whole platform at the bottom that would like catch you some of the time and there's stuff to session at the bottom. I think this is an F tier. I think I would rather do Suburbia than Oil Rig. Now we can move on to 24. You know what's wild? The same person who designed LA also designed airport and they also designed college. Is that crazy? I was like, think about that kind of thing where you can sort of like, you know, you listen to a band they have like a sound and a style and like a, a vibe. And it's the same with level designers. Like they kind of have like a, a thing, you know? And to me, airport, Los Angeles and spoiler alert, college are like in my top five maps. Yeah, this is cool. I'm just kind of like, this is my first time seeing it in THPS Pro, so I'm just kind of like mesmerized a little bit. So I sank so many hours into this on Tony 4, and it's just like surreal to like look at it in this different engine with like lighting and post processing and stuff. Oh, yeah, some of these grinds not linking up. Oh, it works. The telly works. Ooh, can we wall ride this wall? Oh my god, yes. The four, the Tony 4 version, you couldn't wall ride this, and I always thought it was the most frustrating. It's so weird how those things get to me, but it's like, when you play this game for so long, they, they you like, learn that, oh, I can't wall ride this wall. It's inconsistent with the rest of them, and it's annoying, and so... Is this the best first level? I think it is by a long shot. And I told him when I was there, I was like, dude, LA and airport, man, you have no idea how many hours I sank into it. And then like literally like four years later, I'd be like having a beer, like drunk and probably like, dude, LA and airport still playing it, man. <laughs> He's like, thanks, man. He's like, it's the, the nicest guy ever. It's like, there's a part of me that wanted to like, just could like be that guy and just be like, dude, no, you don't understand, <laughs> you know, but. math yeah this is still good i man i just love it's like the outer flow of it it's like you look at the level from top down and it has like that circular flow to it but it never locks you in these sort of outer walls are sort of making half the circle right it's like a big l but it never it doesn't keep you there you know what i mean when you get to the edge you sort of have to make a decision jump off grind left or right and there's plenty of time to see it coming and adjust and there's all these options coming off of it right left quarter pipe go through the middle or you can ride this up to the power lines do this whole dance go up here or go through here or go through here like it's i don't know this it just reminds me a lot of la where it's just like it has the outer flow with tons of options to sort of choose your own destiny like how do you want to do the outer line and then on top of that, you can connect across the middle of the auto line at like so many different points and make it like work however you want. It's just, it's just a great level. Sag. 
Uh, let's rate it. What are we rating it? This is definitely an S tier. Above or below airport? This is, I never really thought about that. Man, capital M-A-N. I think college is better. It's bigger and there's more to do. And most of it really works. But there's a lot more variety here. Wes Lanier. San Francisco, Tony Hawk 4. I think it's decent. I think it's very average. This strikes me as like a straight up the middle average. But man, the size of this street. Look at this. Look at all this nothing to skate. This is what gets me about this level. How wide the street is with nothing to... And it's like kind of the focal point. This is America. We are ruled by cars. I get it. But man, I think if you... Ooh, in this version, can we... I was going to say, if, if we made the train tracks and or the sidewalks grindable, that could be huge. Oh my God. Oh yeah. What about in here? Can we do these? Dude, this is huge. I think this version is already shaping up to be better than the Tony 4 version because of that. Oh yeah, this robot lion. Man, the noobs on Tony Hawk 4 loved this robot lion. This was the Rio of Tony 4. Everyone wanted SFTA, SFTA, San Francisco Trick Attack. Yeah, I do feel like it's not like Skater Island where it feels just kind of cluttery and clunky and you're trying to figure out how to make stuff work. This one is a very spaced out version of that. So you have room to sort of react and make things happen. But it's there's just, it's really hard. It, it sort of feels like there's not much to work with. Like when I think of this level, I think of these ledges. And then there's like the quarter pipes and ledges over here. And they're very short and segmented where it's like, like you're kind of done now. And then what do you do? Like do this, turn around, and like you can't grind this one, so you do it again. And this is that this is like the focal point of the map. There's some options. You can get creative, like Mike San Francisco no manual line. If y'all look that up on YouTube, that is like a top two Tony Hawk video of all time, in my opinion. The main thing that this level is missing is like it has all these different sections, like this pier, this section. Nothing is really feeding you in and out and connecting all of these together. You really do have to work for it with this one like dangerous grind that doesn't really line up. Like, how do you get to that grind from here? I don't think you can. I mean, you could, but it's like a really tough deal. Maybe the big fix would have been to have this be, instead of a quarter pipe, have it be way more like an airport vibe where it's just like side jump, side jump, side jump, side jump, where it's the long planner that feeds you in and out. That would help tremendously. And then if this came out all the way to here, so it would meet up with here and you could like do a quarter pipe transfer over the water into this side, or have more of these be um, sort of connected together. So you could potentially like jump off straight onto these platforms and then like hit a quarter pipe and it hits an extension that links that way or something, you know? I'm just spitballing here, okay? But that's my takeaway is like, it has all these unique one-off areas, but they don't connect in and out anywhere. It's not a D tier. I think it's a C, maybe a B. I would rather play this than Canada and cruise ship. I feel like I would rather play this than Foundry, but it's close, you know what I mean? I think this is a B tier, even though I don't really want to give it a B tier. I think, I think I'm think i gonna have to leave it here. Alcatraz. Man, look at this. This is very pretty. I'm so used to seeing this on like PS2. <laughs> I don't like that it's surrounded by water but this level is so huge and there's a lot of like opportunity to get creative things really link up there's a lot of time to react and uh sort of not just do the same thing over and over again i mean there's the rooftop robot line that everybody loved back in the day but you don't have to stick to it dude and the switchbacks what's the best part about alcatraz the loop onto the floating platform that bam makes you do i think you might be right about that Ranger Bob, true. Yeah, the goals here were really good. Yeah, great level. I just wish it wasn't surrounded by water, but it is Alcatraz. Oh, let's look at the level options. Cell block, pool drained, additional grinds, skip level sequence. Oh, we have pro set. Oh, do we get the, wait, do we get the loop? Tell me we get the loop. Oh. Huge. 
Yeah, the best part of Alcatraz, in my opinion, was Alyssa's steamer calling me cousin every other word. Well, I just heard the nears to dare. Seems my life went all right over. So it's definitely at the worst a B tier, but I do feel like A, maybe S. It would definitely be an S if it wasn't surrounded by water. If I had the choice of playing Rio or Alcatraz, I think I got to give this an A tier above Rio because there's just more to do here. Tony Hawk 4 Kona. I mean, I haven't seen much footage of the actual park. I do know that they went there for the reference trip. I think a lot of it rings true. And I'm pretty sure this fence, you know, was added to board, like, you know, gate the player in. And it's, it's tough to say, like, what would I have done differently? And it, I think the outer borders could have, like, if you don't want to compromise the integrity of what the actual park looks like, go with, like, what surrounds it and what keeps the skater in. And, like, you know, if you notice, there's, like, no quarter pipes, there's no patches of concrete or plywood. You know, I'd like to see sort of, like, more liberties, I think. These spine transfers really worked out, though. I'll give them that. The robot line was something like this where he, this ledge got a lot of action. Do this dance. Go back. Oh, can we not? There we go. Yep. This, this. And so this was the scoring line. That was it. You just saw a full loop. And we do it again. I just would have liked to see much more happen with the borders, I think is the main takeaway here. C or D is kind of where I'm leaning. It's definitely not an S, A, or B. Like, I think it's better than Suburban Skater Island for sure. I think it's better than Cruise Ship. And there's, like, less kill planes than Canada. There's more skatable area in here than Canada. Ooh, man. Tokyo or Kona? Better than Foundry? I feel like I'd rather play Foundry than Kona. So I think this is a high C. London, Tony Hawk 4. In London! Pretty good map. Missing wall ride flags and stuff, which is really frustrating. But for the most part, it's pretty well put together. And it's readable. You can get creative in it. Yeah, this level hits. Especially with the grindable curbs. It's, like, so much better inherently provides more options so it's, i'm here for it you know and now that like there's no missing wall ride flags this feels like it's better than it was on four originally like in 24 i would i would rate this a b tier and it's better than san francisco but after playing it more i, I think it's an a tier with the curbs and the wall ride flags aren't missing and stuff i think it's here because when you look at rio like objectively there's more to do in london and i think i have to rate it higher just based on that shipyard this map i Thought it was perfect for coming up with a creative style line because, I mean, look at it. There's so much going on. So many different areas, so many little nooks and crannies that you can mention or uh, include. But oil rig is like, you can only do that. Whereas shipyard is like, has that aspect of it, but you can also very casually skate these train tracks. And like, this is a robot line from like, you know, back in the day, people used to hit hard and you could intertwine it with the surrounding areas and everything links up pretty well and it flows around this outer circle pretty well. And you can pretty much take off at almost any point to like, just change it up, have options. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of options, a lot of stuff going on really intricate the only thing it doesn't have going for it is it's surrounded by water but it does a pretty good job of keeping you on land let's just rate it i'm digging i feel like i'm digging a hole i'm like trying to stay on task but i'm just like i want to vibe with the chat too and it's hard to balance those two things i think we're looking at a, a high a to me this is better than alcatraz this is way more easier to read and easier to to vibe around in and improvise without falling into the water I don't think this is an S tier as much as I want to put it here. I think it's right here. Tony Hawk 4 Zoo. Ooh. Oh my God, they're animated. Wow, these look like strangely high res. What? He bought animal assets. I was going to say, these don't look like the elf elephants from Tony 4. Oh yeah, these are definitely different.
Whoop. Yeah, so whatever my thoughts on Zoo is, it's not a great level. It's the least played Tony 4 level. It doesn't have much going for it. It feels like all the grinds, like, you notice how short they are? A lot of empty space without ways to connect things together. And there's not like a outer loop that flows or really even an inner loop that really flows. And there's not many options. It sort of feels like Skater Island where you're just like, or San Francisco where you're kind of like, soul skating just doing a couple tricks here and there and that's kind of it I, you know i want to like it because i like the theme it's a tough it's a toss-up between these but i i do think zoo has more going for it than suburbia which is strangely a weird toss-up but it definitely has more going for it than skater island all right tony for carnival a tier of the haunted house segment works pause champ will it work i should have set up a prediction It works. Free cam in the haunted house. Actually a good call. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there he is. You can see him. Look at that. I wonder if the gator was part of the same animal pack from zoo. Whoa, he did stuff. Hey buddy. I remember when I first got into Tony 4 when it was when it came out, I thought Carnival was kind of a weak level, but then the more I played it, I realized that they got a lot more going for it than I thought. And if you look at videos on YouTube from Draco, like Draco's Carnival No Manual 1 and No Manual 2. Two? Those both hit so hard and they frequently come up on the list of like people's favorite Tony Hawk's uh pro skater videos. And he really showcases how rad this level can be if you know what you're doing. Which is like, kind of has like a shipyard, kind of oil rig kind of side to it. But it also has like a nice, nice and easy baseline. It's pretty easy to read for the most part. It has an outer, you know, circle flow to it. I remember when these would rotate around, they would revolve while rotating. And if you like grind it around, it would just be like, ah, ah, ah. It's just like very vomit inducing. Better than cruise ship, Canada, Tokyo, Kona. I think San Francisco might be more fun. This is tough. I don't think it's A. It's definitely not A. I don't want to rate it a B. Maybe it's a high C right here. It's de it's definitely better than Kona. Wait, Tokyo or Carnival? I think Carnival over Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's up here, right here. Chicago. I remember the most frustrating part was like missing wall ride flags. Like this entire building. I remember you couldn't wall ride it, but you could wall ride this. And you couldn't wall ride this. And if you wall ride this wall on either side, you would bail. And, and that sort of thing would just frustrate me so much. But other than that, it seemed to kind of have the spacing and the flow was kind of there. Like it wasn't necessarily a bad level trying to jump this but it's like impossible but you could jump from here down into the ferry which is kind of a fun little thing to do and then the, the goal too you skate up this i wonder if you can make it in this game Ooh, that's like the closest ever <laughs> you might be able to actually make that okay so this reminded me of tony Hawk 4 on ps2 online with like eight people trying to do it and getting so close but no one could ever actually do it and then People would claim that they did do it, but you're like, nah, you didn't actually do it. You didn't do it. Looks so close. Get to the actual level in a sec. Okay, last try. Here we go. Can you land in a grind? Actually, not a dumb idea. Ooh, okay, last one. Here we go. This is it. Like, can I worry this? Oh my God. Ooh, wall plant the train. Hey, this is a really welcome addition to the Thips 1 and 2 map collection for sure. 
I think I would like normally I would probably put it down here and see maybe like right here above Kona, but it feels way more skatable now that I'm not getting denied by unflagged wall rides. So I'm going to put it here. So this is our completed tier list. What do you guys think? I feel like it's pretty accurate. I, this doesn't really change much if we were to go back to Tony Hawk 3 on PS2 and Tony 4 on PS2. The wall ride flagging boosts some of these maps up a bit like Chicago and London. It's such a huge saver and foundry too and, and san francisco but for the most part it's pretty you know relative i think yeah th this all looks pretty accurate to me it's nice to be able to play these in the tony Hawk's pro skater one and two engine and it's just like kind of a breath of fresh air because we haven't had any new content for like over two years claps in the chat claps in the comments for basty for taking the time he said that as as soon as he heard tony hawk say that there was no more three and four he literally decided to start pouring these maps at that very moment and then here we are like it's less than a year later and we have like all these maps to play with that he had no programming or level design or unreal engine experience and he just learned it all and so yeah what a legend and so it's really cool that we have this so if you're watching this later on youtube thank you so much for being here check out the links below if you want to find out more on how to get the mod and how to install it and go follow Basie's channel and their team and all that stuff. Like all this stuff's down below. Make sure you like, comment, describe, visit us on Twitch where we do this stuff at least once a week. And yeah, thank you for being here. Thanks for having you. Someone in the stream asks thug levels when, and it's coming soon. I feel like it might work with a special trick. <laughs>